In this video, we will look at how to timestamp a digital document or PDF securely. Digital files have some sort of creation date and time attached to them by their software and the operating system. However, this is generally not too difficult to modify and will naturally not be preserved if the document is printed or screenshotted. A visible timestamp in a digital document, such as a PDF, is useful because it verifies that the document looked a certain way at a certain date and time. Lockley's Safeguard PDF DRM allows you to add dynamic watermarks to your document that are automatically populated with the date and time the document was opened or printed. Lockley's date and time stamps cannot be removed by PDF editing software and the document cannot be printed to a PDF removal, screenshotted or otherwise copied. Here's the process step by step. So first open Windows Explorer, locate the document you wish to protect, right click on the PDF, choose show more options and then select make secure PDF. In the PDF writer select the view watermarks tab. Here we can add permanent and dynamic watermarks that can display dynamic user information like username, user company, email, date and time, etc. The full list can be found using the drop down on the right. You can also add images if required. All these will be displayed when the document is viewed. Adding watermarks can also deter photos being taken of documents. In the text watermark area, we have a default watermark displayed, which we will now modify. So we will delete some of the text and we'll change that to say this document was opened on. Then using the drop down, we'll select the date and time option and then type by space and we'll select the username next. There we go. So this document was opened on date and time by username. You can also add any other information you wish to add at this stage. But for now, that's all we're going to have. You then have the option of choosing where you want it to be across the page or various other positions you would like it displayed in. We will leave it to across the page. And you can also set the opacity, how strong you want it to show on the page. And you can see what it will look like by pressing the preview button. There we go. So there's the watermark showing across the page. Looks a little bit small, actually. So I'm going to increase the size of that. Go to the font and I'll take that up to 24 and say OK. Then preview again. There we go. That's a bit bigger and a bit more readable. So I'm happy with that. So if you're only going to have the document in view format and not worry about printing, that's all you need to do. You can click publish at this point. However, I will show you how to also set up print watermarks if you wish the document to be printed by the user. In order to do that, we need to enable printing. So if we go to the printing and viewing tab and then click allow printing. That allows the document to be printed and you can set any other further restrictions on the printing of the document or logging of the requests that you may wish to add. Now we've set printing, we can go back to the print watermarks tab and add text watermark. Once again, we have the default watermark, which we will adjust. We delete that text. This document was printed on space. Again, select the date and time. Space, type in by. And again, we'll select username. Okay, so this document was printed on date and time by username. Again, you can add any other text or variables you would like to be displayed. And also, again, you can change the position and opacity and preview as before. So once you're happy with your options, all you have to do is click publish. Your document will now be fully encrypted and all DRM controls will be applied. Click OK. The newly protected document now has a PDC extension. This is now a protected PDF file, which can only be opened with the Lockless Secure PDF Viewer. 
If we double click to open the document, the Safeguard Secure Viewer will open and load the document. As you can see, there are no passwords for users to enter when opening the PDF. Permissions cannot be removed from the PDF document and are permanently enforced by the viewer. As you can see, the watermark is displayed on each page, showing the selected dynamic details of the user viewing the document. Scroll through, it's on every page. So this document's opened on, you've got the date and time by the user, Tony Walsh across the document on every page. As we allowed printing, as you can see, the print icon is active. So if we click print, the print preview window opens and you can change your print settings accordingly. And you can see a thumbnail of the document as it will be printed. OK, again, you can see the watermark going across the page and that's how it will be printed on the document. When you're happy with that, usually all you have to do is press print. I'm not going to print it in this case. I'm just going to cancel out. So as you can see, we have covered view only watermarks. We've covered printing watermarks. So once you've finished viewing the document, all you have to do is close the browser and close Windows Explorer.